नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट दिस जेंटलमैन कॉल्ड बाबा रामदेव इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जेंटलमैन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हिम एंड आई एम गोन टू टॉक टू हिम बिकॉज द कोर्ट सेज आई विल इंपोज वन करोर कॉस्ट ऑन एवरी प्रोडक्ट क्लेमिंग एज फॉल्स क्योर द कोर्ट वॉन्ट पतंजलि पतंजलि द ब्रांड एम्बेसिडर वन ऑफ द ओनर्स ऑफ पतंजलि इज बाबा रामदेव सो दैट्स हाउ द the story of ramdev let's get right into the show now uh, do you remember this uh, gentleman of course you remember this gentleman called ramdev he is right there on your screen ramdev before i get into the story was the same gentleman who used to uh, be doing dharna in jantar mantar against corruption against upa2 same india against corruption mein he also uh, you know played his own role Uh, he did dharna against corruption and uh, then when the police came he changed his dress and, and escaped all that happened okay so he was very anti corruption till 2014 after 2014 of course he believes corruption is over everything is fine so that's uh, baba ramdev so till 2014 before 2000 actually before 2009 2010 he was into yoga from 2010 2011 2012 2013 and all he got into anti corruption then from 2012 2014 he was propagating more uh, uh, of ayurvedic products so this is his been his career graph broadly is what the way i understand it the way i understand it you know let's get uh, all these terms very clear the way i understand it so this is ramdev and i'm going to talk about him now what i'm going to talk about him is not what i understand is what the supreme court said the supreme court on tuesday reprimanded patanjali ayurveda for continuing to publish misleading claims and advertisements regarding modern system of medicines right in front of you on your screen in one of his ads so patanjali and using uh, baba ramdev's image would criticize modern medicines put down modern medicines and promote patanjali theek hai na this is what they did now while considering a petition filed by the indian medical association against misleading advertisement the bench compromising of justice asaruddin amatulla and prashant kumar mishra issued a stern warning to the company and the co-founder baba ramdev the court said such false and misleading advertisement of patanjali ayurveda has to stop immediately the court will take such infraction very seriously and the court will also consider imposing a cost to the extent of 1 crore on every product regarding which false claim is been made and that it can cure a particular disease this is what justice amanatullah said this is what what was said orally by the way now following this the council of patanjali ayurved assured that they will not publish any such advertisement in the future and would also ensure that casual statements are not made in the press the undertaking was recorded in the court and its order so patanjali agreed that baba mistake ho gaya sorry 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 i'm not going to make any such claims anymore i'm not going to make loose statements anymore which means that their attorney which means they agreed that what they did was wrong this is the status this is the status now you see this gentleman baba ramdev to sell his products let me underline not to sell the concept of ayurveda not to sell the concept of a larger uh, uh, science or larger medical science no hey, not to sell all that for his own gains he has always criticized allopathy he has always criticized modern medicines for his own own benefit absolutely selfish benefit now if you remember just look at this video marte hai are bhagwan ne muft mein oxygen de rakhi hai le oxygen ki kami pad rahi hai bhagwan ne sara brahmand bhar rakha hai oxygen se le to le baule bahar cylinder dhoond rahe dhoond rahe to apne bhitar do cylinder laga rakhe ye cylinder hai bhar bhar cylinder kam pad gaye ये डॉक्टर साहब कहते हैं ये दो सिलेंडर यहां लगा रखे हैं दो डॉक्टर इधर दे रखे हैं और ये दो नर्सेज हैं <laughs> ये इनसे काम लेते नहीं इनसे काम लेते नहीं इनसे काम लेते नहीं चलो भर लो तुम्हारी किसी के भी ऑक्सीजन की कमी पड़ जाए तो मुझे बता देना जिनका सत्तर अस्सी तक अस्सी तक जिनका ऑक्सीजन लेवल आ गया था 
मैंने भस्त्री का कपाल भाती अनुलोम विलोम एक घंटा करा के उनका 98 और 100 ऑक्सीजन लेवल कर दिया लेकिन अरे हौसला तो रख मरा जा रहा मर गए बाबा जी मर गए बेड कम पड़ गए हॉस्पिटल कम पड़ गए दवा कम पड़ गई शमशान कम पड़ गए फूकने के लिए चारों तरफ नकारात्मक वातावरण बन रहा इन दिस वीडियो ही इज मॉकिंग ही इज मॉकिंग पीपल हु who are actually going from pillar to post for oxygen who are helped by those six who started oxygen langers because people were dying on the streets actually gasping for air he mocked them saying people are looking at cylinder outside while god has given you two cylinders inside use them fools fools this man calls people who are gasping for air who are dying for air who was running from pillar to post whose family members from were dying were, were running from pillar to post watching their loved ones die gasping for air this man with whatever qualification i don't know says you fools what are you doing there are two cylinders inside your inside your lungs this was what this was the way he was trying to sell his own product you know this man had launched something called as coronil coronil okay which is what his brand was and he claimed that coronil was good for covid it was a covid 19 drug and ironically ironically our government also supported it indian medical association demands explanation from the union health minister for promoting patanjali's coronil indian medical association asked the union health minister how are you promoting coronil what, what or under what capacity and with what medical evidence indian medical association asked them coronil kit baba ramdev patanjali launches ayurvedic medicine for corona virus claiming 100% recovery from 3 to 7 days this is a report of hindustan times and this was on 23rd june 2020 he says i will give you 100% recovery from corona in 3 to 7 days that was coronil i don't know why we are not having an investigation on this i don't know why the government of india is not investigating this and i don't know why the government of india is not putting up a data saying that listen this is the number of people who were cured using coronil i don't know why that is not happened i guess uh, yeah actually we know why so yeah so this man the point is coming back this man was not promoting a larger idea of ayurveda he was not promoting a larger idea he was promoting his company he was promoting his product so that he can get more money period end of story and the bank and the and the court the supreme court said stop it stop lying to people stop making a mockery of modern science and if you do that i'm going to impose 1 crore for your for each of your products where you are misleading people so this is the story okay now let me tell you a few things firstly all my life i've worked on fast moving consumer products all my life and i've worked with few of the top most companies in the world not only india in the world let me tell you there is a lot of effort that a company puts to produce a fast moving consumer product and give you a lot of efforts are put a lot of efforts are put for quality to ensure quality is checked a lot of efforts are put to ensure that it is edible if it is an edible product or it is usable if it is used in your skin or others a lot of efforts are put to for somebody to come and just ridicule them and say it's all it's all it's all crap it doesn't work it is that and this and all is completely farce it is farce because an educated person will never make such statements this is point number 1 point number 2 you see i am a big time fan of ayurveda for starters let me first tell you that i am a big time fan of ayurveda because i come from kerala Uh, in kerala normally a lot of us uh, are used to ayurvedic medicines and i am used to ayurvedic medicines and i have benefited out of ayurvedic medicines so that is a fact there is no debate on it because uh, i am kind of uh, using ayurvedic medicines i have met a lot of top ayurvedic vaidyas or doctors top of uh, ayurvedic vaidyas and doc- uh, doctors now most of these doctors a lot of them have a allopathic degree and then they practice ayurveda 
A lot of them have got Ayurvedic degree and they practice Ayurveda and they have been practicing for years. They are hardcore qualified doctors. And some of them are geniuses. Let me also tell you that. Absolute geniuses. I have seen almost, you know, severe cases being cured by Ayurvedic stream of science. No doubt about it. But the point is, in my entire life, not one qualified doctor in Ayurveda or Vaidya as they are called in Ayurveda has ever told me that, listen, you know what? Modern medicine is bad. Not one doctor has told me this. They talk about their stream of medicines. I have never seen them criticize another stream. I have never seen them criticize. And possibly this is the result of education. This is the re result of study. This is the result of research. Those Ayurvedic Vaidyas, doctors, are, have researched. They have studied their stream of medicines, their, their science. And when you study their sci your own science, when you master your own science, you normally respect other streams of science too. Because you understand that every science that you see, there's a lot of work that's put in. There's a lot of research that's been put in. There's a lot of data that's been gathered. So you don't criticize other, other streams. You talk good about your own stream. This is what I've seen all my life. Now the last thing before I end. You see, isn't it same for religion too? Aren't people who are not so qualified, not so well researched in their own stream, talk ill about other religion? And people who are absolutely, you know, enlightened as they're called, I have never seen an enlightened person speak bad about other religions. Yet not. I have never seen it. I have never seen an enlightened person or truly spiritually enlightened person speak ill about other religion. Before we, you know, agree to something, before we get carried away and we, you know, join the bandwagon, kindly read about the subject that you are going to agree with or disagree with. I say this because this is happening far too many times in our country and far too often. There are claims put, normally spread through your WhatsApp chats, through your WhatsApp uh, uh, university. It is spread to all of us. We get these claims and then we kind of, we ourselves make efforts to ensure that we spread it too. And such claims are spread through us. We spread it. We spread it. We agree to it. We kind of follow it at times without even knowing what is right, what is wrong. My humble request to you through this editorial is, before you, you read such claims, before you agree to such claims, please read, please do research. You require a stream of medicine is used to ensure that you are cured. And what you need to understand is which stream of medicine cures you best. If Ayurveda stream cures you best for the current disease that you have, go with Ayurveda. It's a fantastic stream of medicine. Like I told you, I'm a personal uh, uh, a fan of Ayurveda. Allopathy. There are certain medicines that you can only get, there are certain diseases that only allopathy can cure. Go with allopathy. Homeopathy is another stream of medicines that, uh, that uh, a lot of people have a tremendous faith on. And there is a lot of science to it too. So please choose the stream of medicines based on your need, based on your disease and not based on some people like Baba Ramdev telling you what is right or what is wrong. Till I see you next time. Namaskar.